The neon is an amazing fish with a lot of color and there are different types. The standard neon, the green neon, the black neon, even the cardinal tetra. People are attracted to these fish and they're one of the most popular fish in the hobby because of their color, their temperament, they school. But why not build your fish tank around the neon? Today, we're gonna to be looking at some great tank mates to keep with your neon tetras. Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. Yes, we are doing a video. Tank mates for your neon tetras. And there's a couple questions we will also answer. One, are there fish that you probably should not keep with them? And can you in fact mix and match your neons? I think one thing we should keep in mind before we ever get started is remember, if you're keeping neon tetras, keep them in larger groups. The larger, the better. So when you're thinking about tank mates, don't forget more neon tetras are better. Six are the bare minimum. I think 10 to 12 is probably a good starting point. But if you can add 15 instead of 12, I would rather do that than add three or four types of other fish. And while we're here, I think we should answer the question right away. Can or should you actually mix different kinds of neons in the same tank? I think why not? The, we're talking about the standard neon here, but pretty much everything we're saying is going to apply for all the different types of neons across the board. And yes, you can mix them. You've got the standards, which is pretty much the default, but you've also got the black neons and the green neons, and all of those can be mixed together and they usually get along just fine. Now, first off, you can mix them with a whole bunch of different rasboras. So you have the dwarf rasbora, the dwarf emerald rasbora, exclamation, point rasbora and the celestial pearl daniel otherwise known as the galaxy rasbora definitely keep in mind those somewhat smaller to medium sized rasboras can be good a lot of these rasboras are really pretty they're also going to school relatively peaceful should get along just fine with your neons you also have some of the other types of tetras that you can keep them with such as the ember tetra and the gold tetra maybe the glow light so you've got a lot of options there as well Another great choice with a lot of color would be cherry barbs. They're great schooling fish, they're very peaceful, and they also like to school. Now, if you are looking for something to keep with your neons, that's not a small schooling fish, because let's face it, maybe in this particular case, you have built your tank around the neons, it's your favorite fish, you want something a little bit different, there are some centerpiece type fish that you could keep with your neons potentially, provided that you have the right size tank. By the way, we'll have a whole bunch of species profiles down in the description below of some of the fish that we mentioned that will kind of help you along and learn about some of these other fish as well. But you've got the Epistogramma. Those are great fish, a lot of personality. You also have the Rams, another little small dwarf cichlid that offers a lot of personality and a lot of color. Now, if you like Garamis, there's a couple to choose from that would be a great fit with your neons, and that would be the Dwarf Garami or the honey grommy, a really, really cute, smaller grommy. And that's the key here. We're keeping these fish small. So as we go through these options, we wanna keep in mind that the tetras are not going to get very large. And of course they are peaceful. And so we're trying to find fish that aren't gonna grow large enough to eat them. And they're also gonna be on that relatively peaceful side, even though we've already mentioned a couple different types of cichlids. The garamis that we've mentioned, certainly the honey garami is a very good community type fish. The dwarf garami sometimes can be a little bit assertive, but generally speaking in the right size tank, which for us is at least a 20, 29 gallon for that dwarf garami, they're gonna usually leave the neons alone. Now what about the sparkling garami? Sparkling garami would be another great option. Uh, very, a lot of color, stays small relatively peaceful. Another centerpiece type fish, you could actually keep multiples of these and that's the peacock gudgeon. Absolutely love this fish in our fish room. Offers a ton of color. Like we said, it stays small, so it's really good for those well, 10, 20 gallons or more. Really cool fish to consider. And for those of you who love bettas, raise your hand. A great choice if you've got a group of neons is you probably want to stick with a female betta. I know I have a tank with a female betta in with my neons and it does, it works out pretty well. Yeah, and the reason why we're, we're a little cautious with the males is because you never know, sometimes some of the tetras might get a little fin nippy. Not always, but it's just safer if you've got that shorter, finned female betta. It might work out a little bit more. Not saying the male betta can't work, it's just 
you've got a higher likelihood with that female better. Now for the bottom of the tank, you have some fun options. Not only do you have the Cory Cats, which there's so many different kinds. You can eat, go to the very small ones, the Pygmy or the Brosis. You could get larger Cory, so many different kinds and colors. You could also, if you like that goofy personality that not only the Corys have, but Coolie Loaches would be really fun. And a lot of people really love them for their goofy little antics. And staying on that same theme, if you're looking for something that's maybe going to tackle some algae, You've got the clown plecos. You also have the bristlenose plecos. Those are both good options depending on the size tank. Clown plecos, we like to try to keep in at least a 10 gallon. The bristlenose at least in a 20 gallon, but those can be a good algae cleanup crew for you as well as the otosynclus. Those would work out really well as well. Before we get to the last really cool group to keep your neons with, let's answer that question. Which ones which fish just not a good idea or you should just be really careful before you put with your neons? I think one of the more popular combinations is keeping neons with fish like angelfish, severums, and discus. Now angelfish, if you've got a really large full grown neon, they will mostly leave them alone, but you're always, the problem is when we go to the store, sometimes those neons aren't full grown. If we bring them home to almost full grown angelfish, that could wind up as fish food, certainly with the size that severums can get. That could also wind up as fish food. Uh, the discus, once again, if you've got discus with full grown cardinals or neons, sometimes that works out just fine, but you just have to be really, really careful that you make sure that you're matching the sizes of the two fish so that one's not really large, i.e. those cichlids we just mentioned and you're not bringing in neons that are gonna to be too small. For the last really cool group that you can consider putting your neons with, I think we should look at invertebrates. Which invertebrates can you keep with them? I think first off, mystery snails. If you don't like mystery snails, maybe they're a little too big. They do come in a lot of really cool colors. I'd highly recommend it, especially in my one of my favorite tanks. I have green neons with magenta mystery snails. Wow, does that pop. If not, you like something smaller, you can certainly try murite snails. Other thing to consider is you've got all the shrimp, right? The caridina, neocaridina. Now, there's a very strong possibility that the neons will pick off the little shrimplet babies because the little shrimplets are absolutely tiny, but full grown shrimp, often they will leave them alone, ignore them because the shrimp aren't that much smaller than the neons when full grown. And so it's certainly something to consider a lot of really nice options. And so if you've built your tank around the neon, it was pretty smart to do. Again, remember, a huge school of neons can sometimes be more striking than a smaller school of neons with other types of fish. Just keep that in mind. Again, if you want more information on a lot of the fish invertebrates that we talked about today, check out the description below. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.